तो सबसे पहले हम प्ले स्टोर पर जाते हैं तो आप निकशाला ऐप को प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं ये ऐप आपको दो चीज़ों में मदद करेगा पहला तो है यूनिवर्सिटी शॉर्टलिस्ट करने में दूसरा उस पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी पे जिस भी आपने सिलेक्ट किया है उस पर कैसे एप्लीकेशन होता है लिंक मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन दे दूंगा आप प्लीज डाउनलोड कर लीजिएगा तो इंटरफेस ऐसा कुछ दिखता है और गाइस वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन सो आई एम सिटिंग हियर विद अतुल ही इज अ करंट स्टूडेंट ऑफ मास्टर्स इन कंप्यूटर साइंस हियर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ सारलैंड द फोकस ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई वुड आस्क यू टू कीप इट मोर ऑन द साइबर सिक्योरिटी साइड ओके आई गेस यू दैट्स दैट्स योर इलेक्टिव या बिफोर वी गो अहेड Why don't you go ahead and give us your introduction, please? Hello, uh, my name is Atul. I come from Bihar, India. I've been living in Germany and studying at this university for two years now. I came in 2018 April, and before that, I was working in Bangalore in Nvidia. And before that, I was I, I was a student of Pesit from Bangalore. So, how much did you score in your bachelor's? Uh, well, I managed 8.4 over there. Uh, Yeah, bachelor's was a fun time, so <laughs> I'm happy with what I got. Did you give any IELTS or GRE? No, I don't really remember that. I think I had 315. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah, I had a 315. <laughs> I had a good analytical score, but uh, a, a decent English and a decent math score. Can you tell us a bit about the prerequisite to enter this course? When you come to uh, admission requirements uh, at, at Saarland University, the first thing they want is at least 75 percent in your bachelor's. Mm-hmm. and your bachelor's degree should have uh, uh like 200 credit points out of uh, uh, dedicated to computer science whether it is theoretical computer science or architecture or uh, practical applications and coding and stuff so they will check for that mm-hmm. uh, whether your degree is proficient in that or not third thing would be uh, uh toefl toefl or ielts and uh, uh, anything above It, 90 is a good score for southern university okay uh, yeah and gre is not a requirement here yeah thankfully uh, if you have gre and you can provide it to them it will be an additional document but uh, it's not a required unlike it's not required unlike most of the other universities got it yeah. what what are the other comparative universities for computer science because i know a lot there are a lot there. yeah but i mean my question is more to do with How is Zarlan University making a difference since you are now here studying for quite some time? Mm-hmm. What's your point on that? Zarlan University I think is really dedicated to research and they have made the top rank in artificial intelligence research mm-hmm. in autonomous research and in cybersecurity research. Uh they, I I don't think any other university in Germany can hold their hand in artificial intelligence research given that we had given that the, the DFKI here was led by led by Dr. Walter himself. Yeah. There, there's a lot of funding coming here and a lot of a lo- lo- lot lot of dedications from dedication from the government itself. um and also uh, it it has a cream position when compared to aachen and tu munchen which are really at the top of the universities for computer science un- un- unlike tu munchen it's not as uh, application oriented or as uh, practical in the approach but they they they're definitely really good mm-hmm. okay i mean we are definitely really good <laughs> we are yes a part of it You are a part of it, yeah. Now, yeah? <laughs> Let's take this conversation to basics, right? Okay. Uh, imagine someone who's watching us currently sitting in India, trying to figure out how can I get into German universities. Mm-hmm. Currently studying computer science bachelor's. Mm-hmm. What documents are we supposed to have to begin the admission process? Okay. Um, first thing you should be sure is you have your degree with you after graduation. Okay. So yeah. wait. Since sorry, I'm just cutting you off right there. but there are times where students are in their 7th semester yeah and the last semester is either ongoing or about to come the results mm-hmm. can they not apply then they can they can apply at that time uh, because you can you can submit a provisional degree certificate uh, for that time until 7th semester yes okay. you can pro- submit a provisional degree certificate but you really need to have the, your uh, degree certificate at, at the time if you get your enrollment yeah. uh, if you get the admission and you are here, here for enrollment then you definitely need your degree certificate for mm-hmm. that purpose mm-hmm. um well if you i i would take you through the process formally to apply for masters computer science at zarland university you first need to have your diploma your transcript and your degree certificate from uh, your bachelor's mm-hmm. uh, which should prove that you have done at least uh, 200 credits of uh, computer science yeah uh, with your transcript you will also require your cv 
okay to show what stuff you have learned and what are you quite interested in mm-hmm. uh, uh, a statement of interest which is also called uh, sop statement of purpose uh, it, it, it's it's a standard process for every university uh, just like every other university and then you need two letter of recommendations from your academic supervisors from your bachelor days okay and uh, and you got them from yeah okay. i got i got the, i got actually three of them two from my professors and one from my uh, boss who was who i was working with right what i also heard atul the way to receive the lor is a bit different not so traditional way yeah what normally is done because typically in different universities what i've seen is uh, you get the lor on the letterhead from that university right um what is yes. the situation here so so for most of the universities you usually get lor on the letterhead and you have a sealed copy and mail it to them yeah or there is a portal where you upload it from them but unlike that because uh, salan university is worried about privacy i guess so what you have to do is you have to submit the email address of communication for letter of recommendation and that should not be a gmail address or something like that it should be a official, official university email, email address of the professor uh-huh. yeah in this case okay yes yeah. or an institution yeah 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 and then they will send a invitation link to the person to the referee yeah. on that email address and the referee will have to create a account mm. give some basic information of who they are legitimize their right. identity and then they will submit their letter letter uh, speaking about you or watching your uh, admission on that right. website is there any, any sort of application form also along with what we are talking yes uh, zalan university does not work with uniassist okay but they have their own uh, sim which is a student information management portal okay which starts from application creation creation of the application and is a management system for you throughout when you are here mm-hmm. so first what first you have to do is you have to create an account on the sim portal and uh, proceed to the admission guidelines over there and uh, in that uh, you will find which the the, the different uh, programs that you could be interested in yep. and following that you will see a list of questions that you will have to fill up with answers of where you're coming from what courses you yep. took which universities and uh, what are your interests and stuff like that and you fill that up and that will be your admission process and you will actually see whether you got admitted or rejected or whether it is in documentation verification everything on that website live wow as it happens and you do not have to send them a physical copy no nothing none of physical physical copies once everything is submitted online as a soft copy that's all yeah. what we are looking yeah. at okay uh, all the proofs that you have to do i will ha- you will have to come here and do it in some time in future yeah but nothing here the admission process is completely online and right you receive your answer also online and is there like a any interview procedure involved before you yeah. get selected or is it just like you submit and then you get a result no because some know. universities have this procedure of yeah. once they get selected they are also asked for an interview online of course no southern university does not have doesn't anything like of that okay. sort yeah okay atul can you give me an overview of your course like how is it structured um i joined southern university for the masters computer science degree mm-hmm. and the reason i did that was because it's versatile like all the courses offered for uh by, by the university by the mathematics and computer science university can be taken in uh, masters computer science unlike some of the other groups like visual computing or embedded systems where they have some specific requirements of some or the other department which were mm-hmm. dedicated to mm-hmm. here uh, i had the freedom to study anything i want and i could dedicate uh, my time to decide the structure of that that my degree would take so i think it's the best if if it, it, it this is the best solution if you want to explore something or you do not have a dedicated field that you are approaching mm-hmm. and you want to figure it out as you go yeah so you can do this and that's how i started uh i started with a bunch of uh, the, the courses are divided into core courses core, yeah. each each of the core courses is a root of a department uh for example you have artificial intelligence you have c- cybersecurity core course or you have uh, embedded systems core course these and then you have advanced courses which build upon the knowledge of at least one of the core courses that you might have taken here mm-hmm. so they go deeper and deeper into the into the department into the field right. um what are your core subjects right now i took artificial intelligence hci uh, security um these are your core subjects these are my core core subjects okay. wow. um and i also took data networks all right um 
So your interest is in cybersecurity? Yes. Uh, I actually was working in trusted computing when I was in India and I learned about CISPA after coming here. Okay. Uh, and uh, the university's uh, cybersecurity department is quite huge. Mm -hmm. So in the introductory course, I learned about a bunch of this. First was the embedded systems, embedded security course that they were offering. Then there was a security core course that they were offering. And there was also a trusted computing advanced course that they were offering. And they, I found them really attractive because in, in, a, in, in, in this university full of theoretical computer science, that was a... Um, practical yeah. approach to everything and yeah I, 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 I first took the embedded security course even without the uh, basics of uh, security and really enjoyed it and that's how where I have been hooked ever since. Right and uh, tell me more in terms of job how do you see this industry growing or at least someone who's doing a masters now I, I believe like of course you will be expecting a full-time job maybe that or going towards the research side mm -hmm. what's your plan well um, I have always been an industry oriented person I followed uh, where uh, innovation is going what the market is looking for what people are looking for and I have found CISPA the group that I work with also to be quite similar to that mm -hmm. like uh, their courses are uh, the, the courses are in par with market, what, what f flaws you find in things like IoT devices or uh, Nest Home devices or even in uh, autonomous cars. Mm -hmm. Their courses are dedicated to those and then there are research groups and uh, there are research collaborations with for example ZF and Daimler and Audi and a bunch of other big companies oh. who invest their money and invest their resources and find out uh, and, and try to solve problems along with professors and students here. So there is a direct correlation with the industry yeah. here. Uh, on one side they churn out papers, on the other side they also solve problems which are plaguing the industry in real time right now. Mm. So there's definitely a big scope because you are your hands-on practiced on the things which are con which are considered as, as contemporary problems. Got it. Well, what is the cost involved to get this degree? Oof. Well, um, the the main cost here is just the living cost. Okay. Yeah. If you're living in a in a in a conservative environment, in a conservative mood for yourself, you can get by with around 500, 550 euros for a month. Okay. And uh, with with leisure, it's 700. Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine spending more than that in a month here. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But that's it. And that that covers your living costs, that covers your food, that covers your travel once in a while wherever you want to go. Okay. And since the university is tuition free, there's no additional cost. So what advice do you have for future students who want to study computer science in University of Zarland? Well, um, uh, I, I, first thing I would say, have a little uh, research for appetite. Have a little faith mm -hmm. that you will get here and uh, you will get by. The students here, every, everyone who comes here in the beginning has a little bit of uh, imposter syndrome. <laughs> we all did, so don't be scared of that. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it can be a tough place to get by, but it's an awesome place to learn, come, learn and live and grow. Right. Yeah, so if you, if, you get, if you get an admit from the university or if you are even thinking about applying to universities, keep Saarland University in mind. Mm -hmm. And if you get an admit from the university, definitely give it a thought. It's a good place. It's worth it, yeah? Yes, it's definitely worth it, yeah. Good. So, I hope that you got to know what documents are required, what is the process of application, um, the specialization thing. Again, anything to do with specific question or to the program, please, the only contact person you should reach out is the administration of the university and the department concerning computer science. Nobody else. Then thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.